writing down pieces of information in a systematic way. What does systematic mean? Yeah, and how do you know like what pieces to write down? Well, that's where um, summarizing comes into play to help us out. All right, class, today we're going to learn about summarizing. So summarizing is grasping the main idea by examining info presented, picking out key details, and putting them into your own words. Does everybody understand that? So we like put things into our own words. Yes. Okay. Honestly, I wrote so fast, I don't even know what my notes say. How is this going to help me? I literally don't think I spoke one word during that class. I know. I literally couldn't even ask you a question because I was taking so many notes. Like, it literally goes on and on and on. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go over some tips for your note taking. So, you can use highlighters to mark important things, um, marks like asterisks and stars to pull out important details, um, sub notes, and strategies like Cornell notes. I love colors. I use this one for key definitions, this one for key points. I use this one for things I don't understand. I use this one to write notes to my friends. I just hope they understand how really helpful this can be. You know she only mentioned those Cornell notes because she went to Cornell. I use Cornell notes. I love it. It helps me stay organized. Right here I write what the teacher says. Then I write some sub notes, maybe things I want to add later. Then I summarize it all at the end. Okay, so what are some ways that note taking has helped you guys in your studies? My, my notes help me stay organized and make it easier for me to study for tests. Yeah, it really helps me focus and pay attention. Mm, I like having everything in one place just so I don't have to go searching for it. Yeah. So note-taking just helps us to stay organized and keeps all of our information in one place so it's more clear for us and easy to remember. Go. It uh, started well, but then I doodle. It's uh, the last dinosaur supper. I love note-taking. I color-coded everything so organized and know exactly what's going on. I'm going to give an A. So are there any specific ways that summarizing helps you to study or learn better? Uh -huh. It helps me find the main points and the key details of things. Yeah, and it helps me easy for test quicker. It makes me feel like the information is easier to handle. Yeah, so summarizing just helps us to focus on the important information and it's easier to handle than an entire load of information that might not always be pertinent. I love summarizing. I get all my notes on one page. I'm saving trees out there. Amazing. Okay, so I know a lot of times we think note taking is boring and a lot of us might not like to do it, but I just want to remind you that there's multiple ways to take notes and the cool thing about it is you can do it however you want. So if graphs help you, you can draw graphs. If you like to draw just pictures, you can add visuals into your notes. There's no one right or wrong way to do it. So you should explore what works best for you and implement that into your note taking. Go. I like using concept maps because I can take a small detail and build on it with my notes. And I like drawing graphs and charts because it helps me have visuals to look back on. Clearly, I'm also a visual learner. So having pictures helps me to remember the important ideas within a unit. I like just standard note taking because I can organize it however I want to and I can highlight and color code whatever I want to do. And I like it when the teacher gives me guided notes to help me really look for the key point. Go. Okay, so what are some tips for summarizing that you guys have? Mm. Well, I like to write things in my own words 
so that I know I understand it and then I can make it make sense for me more. I like to just listen to what the teacher's saying and pick out the key details to write down. I like to use shrinking notes and so I take all the stuff you say and narrow it down. Good. So I like to use shrinking notes and pretty much what you do is you just put like what the lecture was about or a summary of the story and then you narrow it down and um, put the key points and then you continue to narrow it down until you have a shorter summary of the topic that you're going over. So sometimes what the teacher says doesn't really make sense, so I'll ask someone else about it and then just put it in my own words so that, you know, I write it, I read it, and I remember it a lot better.